Hello, my name is Dan Dermasich. I'm the chair of the Coalition for Common Sense in Education. Uh, I'm also a former district employee for uh, 40 years, 24 of which I was uh, principal at School Without Walls in the City School District. Um, I want to start by saying that uh, to me, uh, this was not necessarily on one part of my uh, my life an easy decision because I worked for Jean-Claude Brizard for three years and I happen to believe that he's basically a good man but at the same time after looking at the research I found that it was absolutely necessary as an individual to support this resolution because I think there are many things that are happening within the district that are harmful to children and that are contrary to research. In fact I think that's an important point to make that this is not simply a resolution based on opinion of what's good for kids, but it's based on sound research. If you read our resolution, there's a number of uh, research sightings that we've uh, made in it. Um, I want to also emphasize that this goes beyond Jean-Claude Rizard. As Howard mentioned, uh, there seems to be, or doesn't seem to be, there is within our country a trend, a direct uh, movement by corporations, which we might call the corporate educational complex, composed of people like Eli Broad, Sam Walton, and Bill Gates, and a number of other foundations, which are pushing education in a specific direction, which we find very harmful to kids. Among the different things that uh, initiatives they're pushing and uh, Jean-Claude is supporting are charter schools. And we wonder why charter schools are being pushed when 83% of them are not any more successful than uh, conventional schools within the public school system. Uh, we also find that they're using high-stakes standardized testing to a large degree, which is narrowing the curriculum and not allowing for the personal interests, the needs, uh, the issues, that uh, the kind of skills that kids need to be focused on, which are, is not happening because of the emphasis on high-stakes standardized testing. We also find that they're focusing on merit pay for teachers when all the research in terms of motivation of both teachers and students tends to be contrary to any use of merit pay or that type of reward. The other thing that we find happening is a denial of poverty, that poverty is not an issue and not an excuse uh, for any type of failure with kids. When we know, when we look at the faulty research that Gates, Broad, and Walton are citing, the PISA reports, the TIM studies, which says that the United States is only toward the end in comparison of all other countries in terms of their performance. If you disaggregate that for poverty, you find, and take maybe the top 10% or the bottom 10% of poverty out, you find out that the United States ranks near the top in virtually every category. So the issue is poverty. The issue is that many kids in this city are involved in a concentration of poverty within schools and that we need to be focusing on poverty rather than denying those issues. There are many things that could be happening that the super superintendent could be advocating, including that of a rather taboo subject, that of desegregation of schools with Monroe County, which we don't hear any talk of, despite the fact that there's a good amount of evidence, uh, particularly in the book called uh, Hope and Despair in the American City by Gerald uh, Grant, from Syracuse University, which details the success of such schools in Wake County in North Carolina. Uh, the tap-down managerial style that is also advocated by Bro uh, Broad, Gates, and Walton is another issue, and they all favor mayoral control. All the, school, all the cities which use mayoral control now are down toward the bottom in terms of performance within the United States. Uh, so we want to emphasize that this is a research-based <coughs> resolution. It's not simply opinion, but there are moral issues that we do feel are really important for the superintendent to take on, which he's not taking on. And in that uh, conclusion, there's no alternative for us other than to issue a, a vote, a resolution of no confidence, which we hope that Superintendent Brizard and the Board of Education will take seriously and bring about the changes that we feel are necessary for the hope and the future of the children of uh, the city's city of Rochester.